How do you buy a house through a limited company? And should you buy a house through a company or should you just buy a house without the need of a company? Well, in my opinion, you should absolutely have a company. Even if you haven't got a house yet. Even if you're like looking around, you don't know what house you're gonna buy. Having a limited company is gonna help you massively. You might not even understand how it's gonna help you right now, but man, you wanna watch this video till the end because I'm gonna be hitting you with some dynamite. So here goes. When you have a company, you can claim stuff back as tax deductible. This is huge. Right now, if you're an employee, you're still paying for stuff. You're still paying for a mobile phone. You're still paying for rent. Do you know if you're in business, you can claim back part of your rent as long as you can demonstrate that you're using your house for office as well. This is not my dining room table, this is my boardroom table. I'm claiming this part of the house back. Tax deductible. Does this make sense? Right now, if you're an employer, you're not claiming anything back. You are getting paid, I don't know, two grand. Firstly, you're paying your tax first, whereas when you have a limited company, you pay your tax last. Oh, it's so good. What do I mean by that? I mean, um, if you get paid two grand, you're not gonna see that two grand. You're only gonna see 1,600, because first, they're gonna take off your pay AYE tax, your national insurance, you're gonna be left with just 1,600. That's not how it works when you have a company. When you have a company, you pay tax last. You should definitely be buying properties through a company. I didn't used to teach this. I didn't used to do this, but they changed the rules. They brought in all these new legislation and they're taxing the crap out of poor people, working class people, amateur landlords. Amateur landlords are getting squeezed for every penny. Whereas the big companies and the elites, they're, they're fine. They don't pay taxes hardly. Why? Because they're doing it through companies. They're not buying individually. You can do the same thing too. They changed the rules. You didn't used to be able to. This is why this is so groundbreaking. If you used to want to set a company up and buy a house with a company, they'd say no. They'd go, no, no, you can't just set up a company and buy a house. Because you, you can't buy a house through a limited company unless you can prove that it's got so many years books. We want to see the profit. We want to see the turnover, the sustainability of the business. Now, in 2022, many people don't know this. You can set up a brand spanking new company today and then tomorrow you can buy a house through that company. No questions asked. How do you do it? Through personal guarantor. You will, gar you will be the guarantor to the company, but you'll get all the tax benefits of owning it through the company. Section 24 tax won't exist. You won't pay capital gains tax when you sell. You'll pay corporation tax, which is way cheaper. You'll, when you get paid your rent, you won't pay any tax on the first 12,000 pounds, nothing, no tax. And then thereafter, you'll pay yourself in a dividend and only pay 7.5% tax right up into 40 something thousand pounds. This is crazy, crazy cheap tax wise compared to if you just bought a house. So how do you set up a limited company? Here's what you do. You go to a website called Companies Made Simple and then you type in what you want your company to be called. And I would suggest don't overthink this. Just put your name followed by property limited, whatever. If that company name is still available, you then just press submit. You go through a few pages, fill some details out. This takes like 20 minutes. And within 24 hours, you will have your own limited company and you will have a company number and it will cost you about 12 pounds. Crazy. It's, I don't know why they don't teach this stuff in school. It does my head in, really does my head in. Once you've got your company set up, Let's say you've got a company called Purple Rain Property Limited, right? You've got your company. Then, when you view all the houses that you're viewing with an estate agent, you say, hey, I'd like to put forward an offer of 200 grand. And they'll say, offer accepted. You'll say, just so you know, it's not me buying it. It's my company, Purple Rain Property Limited. And they go, okay, cool. Don't make any difference. Then when you get a uh, solicitor on board, you'll tell the solicitor, I'm buying this pr property through this company. You'll tell your, your broker. It's just a company. Now... What are the downsides to buying through a company? Um, you might pay a slightly higher interest rate if you're buying through a company. Uh, you will also probably need to have an accountant, which you're gonna obviously have to pay because if you don't have an accountant, you do it yourself, it could be a little bit. So again, that's a small downside, but the plus sides are absolutely huge. The thing you really need to do is you just need to get educated because this is, I mean, when you, when you don't have a company, this is, the big, this is, this is just huge. When you pay a bunch of tax first and then you just spend what's left and then you spend on rent and your car and your holidays, what are you left with? Probably nothing. So you've got zero profit. Whereas if you have a company, what, how does it work? Well, if you have a company, firstly, let's say you're paying yourself two grand a month. 
okay, or, or, or 30 grand a year. If you're paying yourself from your company 30 grand a year, or if that's how much profit the company's making, you're gonna, you're gonna squeeze the profit down on normal expenses, like your mobile phone, okay? This is not my mobile phone. This is my business mobile phone. So I'm able to claim the expense of it back. So when you have a company, you can start claiming stuff back, which means you can offset that against the taxes and end up paying no tax. Because if you've got no profit in the business, technically no profit, then you'll pay no tax. Listen, I'm not a tax expert, so I'm not qualified to teach or give tax advice, but get clued up on this, okay? If you want me to do more videos on tax, I can do. If you want me to pull my accountant in and do an interview with him, I can do. Get clued up on tax. See you next time.